Like the vital organs of the body, powerful biodiversity hotspots on Earth hold the source codes for the revitalization of our entire planet and the flourishing of life itself. Life began in Africa and speciation is associated with the East African Rift Valley at the epicenter of Earth's land masses, also referred to by evolutionary scientists as the birth canal of the human species. The white lions were born on the Nilotic Meridian along the East African Rift Tectonic Plate and, significantly, in alignment with the most important architectural sacred sites on the African continent, Giza, Great Zimbabwe, Barberton. This means that humankind's greatest lion monument, the Great Sphinx and Pyramids of Giza in the north, align exactly with the birthplace of the white lions in the south. The white lions originate in this one location only on Earth. Timbavati, meaning place where the star lions came down in the old Shangan language, and their heartland, Tsao, meaning star lion. But while the African wisdom keepers have long revered the white lions as holy animals and bringers of peace and prosperity, their critically important role in the ecosystem is less well understood. Their cultural role in restoring hope to humankind is equaled by their ecological role in restoring health to their ecosystem. Today we are faced with a pervading sense of the devastation and desecration of Mother Earth. As immortalized in Disney's Lion King story, when the true king is removed from his kingdom, a wasteland ensues. But there is a way to come back into right relationship with our planet. When the apex animal is restored in its natural kingdom, the flourishing of all species in the ecosystem is assured. The white lions may be living legends, mythic in their majesty and iconic in their radiant solar power, yet their ability to restore health and healing to their natural ecosystem is fundamental ecology at its best. Importantly, their place of origin is in the epicenter of South Africa's Kruger to Canyons biosphere, a UNESCO declared biosphere region and one of the last viable lion rangers on the planet. The White Lion's birthplace was declared an ancient sacred site by African kings hundreds of years before the Kruger National Park was proclaimed in 1926 and the more recent United Nations accreditation at the turn of this millennium. But tragically, the white lions have been forcibly removed from their endemic wilderness territories for a documented period of over six decades into zoos and circuses around the globe and into death camps in South Africa's notorious cuddle-to-kill industry. To ensure the critical survival of the white lions while protecting the watershed in their area of origin, the Global White Lion Protection Trust has been purchasing large tracts of land since 2004, the heart of the white lion's ancestral territories. Significantly, the white lion heartlands spans the arterial river which serves the greater region, the only perennial waters in an area of some 100,000 hectares. Once a severely denuded habitat of radical biodiversity loss, the White Line Heartlands has enjoyed dramatic regeneration under the pawprint of the apex predator. This recent Google Earth map records the contrast between Tsao, the White Line Heartlands today, and the desertification of neighboring lands directly bordering, where legalized commercial trophy hunting of lions has been taking place for decades. Just as wolves restored waterways in Yellowstone Park, so ecologists now recognize the apex predator's role in restoring balance throughout the trophic levels 
of the food chain in an ecosystem. As inspirational symbols of true service-based leadership, the white lions in our protected area restore health to their ecosystem and hope to human systems. Behind me is land that was once seriously degraded in the heart of the white lion heartlands. The Global White Lion Protection Trust has been purchasing large tracts of land in the white lion's endemic homelands and returning the lions to the wild in a scientific reintroduction program. Because we know when the white lions flourish, all life flourishes. Today, all conservation issues are global issues. If Brazil loses its rainforests, Earth has lost her lungs. If South Africa loses its white lions, Earth has lost her heart. We can all feel it, the pulsing heart of the animal kingdom on Earth, the white lion's sacred natural site, revitalizing all the vital organs of our living planet. Ay, 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 ay,